Hi there, I'm the Neuromuscular Mechanic, and today we're going to be talking about ultrasound guided block of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. So why, what might you use this block for? So you can use it to manage pain with individuals who have lateral femoral cutaneous neuropathy. And so those are individuals who present with numbness and or pain to the lateral uh, or the anterior lateral thigh, what we commonly refer to as moralgia parasthetica. So before I show ultrasound videos of myself, we're going to go through a checklist. So what's the ideal patient position for these blocks? What transducer should you use? Where do you start with the probe for surface localization? What do you need to identify on your pre-scan? And then how do you get after your target? So with patient positioning, you'll have patients on their back in a supine position. There'll be neutral position of the hip with respect to adduction, abduction, external internal rotation, and extension flexion, and the knee will be extended. When it comes to the transducer, this structure is very superficial. So to get the best resolution, typically I'm using a high frequency linear ultrasound probe. Um, don't see a situation where you're going you're gonna to need to use a curvy linear probe. Um, and then with surface localization, you're going to start with the probe in short axis over the anterior superior iliac spine, which is easily um, palpable. And then what you're going to do is you're going to move that probe distally just off the anterior superior iliac spine until you visualize two muscles, until you visualize medially the sartorius and laterally the TFL or the tensor fascia lata. And we'll talk about why that's important. Um, so with your pre-scan, as sort of alluded to with the previous slide, you want to be able to identify that anterior superior iliac spine or ACIS. You want to be able to identify the sartorius as well as the TFL or tensor fascia lata. And you want to identify those two muscles because in between them, and lateral to the sartorius is this fat-filled flat tunnel. And it's in this tunnel where we find the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. So we'll go through this. So once you've found that nerve in that tunnel, then you're going to basically do your injection in short axis in plane where you're bringing your needle from lateral to medial. And you're trying to get your fluid, your injectate, into that fat-filled flat tunnel around the nerve. And so we're going to go through how to identify this. So in a second here, I'm going to start the video of the ultrasound. So here we are, we're in short axis, and there is the bony landmark of my anterior superior iliac spine or ACIS, and you see that bony contour with the posterior acoustic shadowing. And so that is the start point, and generally that's very easy to palpate on most individuals. So just again, take the probe, Put it in short axis over the ACIS. What I'm going to do shortly is I'm going to move, I'm going to translate the probe off of that distally. Um, so I'm going distally. So I've gone down a couple centimeters, I'm going to pause. So on the left of the screen, which is medial, is the muscle um, uh, outline of the sartorius. And then lateral, we have the muscle outline of the TFL or the tensor fascia lata. And you know that those two muscles are coming off the ACIS, and so that's why we have to translate distal off the ACIS. Now, in between these two muscles, we're going to find this fat-filled uh, flat tunnel, and so that's what I've outlined here in white, and that is where the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve is, and generally, this tunnel basically is sort of anechoic or hypoechoic, and then you're going to see this bright structure within that sort of hypoechoic tunnel, and that's where our nerve is, our lateral femoral cutaneous nerve that I point out here. So I'm just going to, in a second, um, sort of demonstrate this nerve again. Um, so here we go. Here I've got sort of things. This is the sartorius medially. I'm coming back, and then I'm just going to pause right here. And so at this area, you can actually see the nerve a little bit better. So that bright hyperechoic structure that's in that um, fat-filled flat tunnel that's in between these two muscles, lateral to the sartorius, is where the nerve is. And I would bring my needle in plane in line with this arrow for a block. Uh, so that's how I would do it. And then I would fill that space around the nerve with injecting. Um, so that concludes today's video. I'm the Neuromuscular Mechanic, and I hope you found today handy.
Take care.